Hello everyone, this is Febro. Today let's talk about Z Image Turbo, the latest open source image model created by the Tongyi Mine team from the Alibaba lab, the same lab that owns the 1.2 and the Queen Image development team. The Z Image Turbo is a lightweight model that only has 6 billion parameters. Compared to the latest Flux to Dev with 32 billion parameters, that's really tiny. But from the community test results, it is no less than Flux 2 in quality and speed. By default, this model re requires 16 GB of VRAM to run. After messing around with it, I found a way to use it with 4 to 6 GB of VRAM without compromising the quality much. This is really insane. In the future, we may be able to run this model on a smartphone. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use this model with extremely low VRAM, make some comparison tests with other models, and share some advanced tips to help you get a better result. Make sure you watch the whole video, just not to miss anything important. First, let's install Configure on your PC. If you have done it, skip this part. If not, follow this guide to install it. Or if you have difficulty with this technical thing, there are other options. One is to run Configure on a cloud computer. Just open the link and run it right away, like this. Another is to use the all-in-one Configure package I made for you. Just open the link and download the package file. Unzip it, this one. And then after unzipping it, you will see a folder like this. Open it. You will see a file structure like this. And then double click this run NVIDIA GPU.bat file. You could double click or right click and open it. A command line window will pop up. This is the starting log of ConfigUI. After the starting process is finished, you will see a panel like this. Download the workflow I provided and open it in this ConfigUI. You could just drag the workflow here to your to this ConfigUI and then release. It will open the workflow for you automatically if this workflow is not already opened for you. If any missing custom nodes errors when you are opening the workflow, just click the manager here and then click install missing custom nodes and then select the missing nodes, click install. Confi will install all the missing custom nodes for you. Since I have already installed all the missing custom nodes, so there's nothing here. After installing the missing custom nodes, click restart and then refresh this page. This workflow is quite simple. The core idea to use this model with an extremely low VRAM GPU is to use the GGUF version of the model, like this one here, and the FPA clip model with CPU offloading. This is the GGUF model loader, and the G this is the clip model loader, and this is the VAE model loader. If you use the all in one package I made, these models have already been set up for you. You don't need to download or set up anything. Just run it right away. Here, apart from the GGF model loader, I also keep the default diffusion model loader node, just in case you might need to use the original model. If you want to use the original model, just link the model before this model sampling overflow node and select the model. You could use the BF16 version or the FPA version of the Z image turbo. Of course, this model will require more VRAM to run. The bigger the size, the more resources and VRAM it requires to run. In the all-in-one package, I only included the GGUF model for size control. If you want to use other models like the BF16 or the FPA version, you need to follow the instructions in this note to download the model files to the specified place. Here, like the BF16 or the FPA. On the right side is the prompt section. Just type in the things you want in the output. Anything you want, actually, since this model is uncensored by default. Below are the output size and the batch size settings. The default is 1024 and 1024, and the batch size is the number of images generated at the same time. If you have a big VRAM, you could increase this value, change it to the one you like. And here's the case sampler, the processing brain. In this node, generally, you only need to change the seed. You can set it to fixed or randomized. Different seeds generate slightly different results. 
Of course, you could also change the step or the sampler or the scheduler. You might get better results with other settings. Now let's take a look at how much VRAM it takes with the official workflow and then compare it with this low VRAM workflow. You can open the official workflow, the Z image turbo workflow by clicking the templates here and then select this one, the Z image turbo text to image. Click, you can see this is the official Z image turbo workflow. You need to reselect the model if your model's path is different from mine. Before we start running it, Let's clear the models loaded in ConfigUI first and open the task manager to check the VRAM usage. So we can see how much VRAM is occupied by the Windows system. I don't have a CPU with a built-in GPU. Some of the VRAM will be allocated to the Windows system. Click this button to clear all the models loaded. This one, you can see hover over it. Free model and node catch. Just click this one and here. Type in task manager and click the task manager. In the performance tab, you can see how much VRAM is being used by the Windows system. From the task manager, we can see that the VRAM used by the Windows system is about 2.6 gigabyte. Okay, let's click run and see how much VRAM it takes to run this workflow. You could also check the VRAM usage in this resource monitoring node. I will also provide the links for you if you want to use this one. You can see here, 19 gigabyte. From the task manager and this resource monitor node, you can see the VRAM peak is about 19 gigabyte, right? Minus the 2.6 gigabyte used by the win Windows system. The actual VRAM usage required to run this workflow is about 16 gigabyte. Now the low VRAM workflow here. Let's link it back and clear the model first and then click run. Oh, I need to reselect the model first. You can see it only took like 7.3 gigabyte to run this low VRAM workflow. Minus the 2.6, the actual usage is like 4.7 gigabyte. In the previous testing, Mm, you may have noticed the peak VRAM usage of the workflow is about 10 gigabyte while running the VAE decode. So I added another VAE decode, tiled decode. That is to chunk the latent into smaller parts and then process it one by one to lower the VRAM usage. Now let's click run and test it again and see the peak VRAM usage. 7.3 gigabyte. 7.4. Yes, the peak VRAM usage has been lowered from 10 gigabyte to 7.4 gigabyte. So it works with this VA decode. Great. The trick with this extremely low VRAM usage is this GGUF model. From its download page, you can see the size of it is only 4 gigabyte compared to the official one from the Comfy Org. 12 gigabyte. And this clip model, the default test encoder is about 8 gigabyte, but the FPA one is about 4 gigabyte. And I also use CPU offloading here. Set the device to CPU, it will shift the burden from GPU and the VRAM to CPU and the RAM. Of course, the speed is not as fast as with the GPU, but I still can run it. To this point, some of you might ask, with this quantization model, is the quality still acceptable? No worries, I've got your back. Here are the tests I made with the same seed and the prompts. The only variable is the model being used. You can see it with your own eyes. The quality is still good. On the left is the BF16, on the right is the GGF1. I don't see much quality loss and the realism is excellent, no more plastic AI feelings. And the speed. Let's use the latest Queen image edit 1209 as comparison. There's no need to compare with Flux 2 since the Flux 2 dev is too slow and requires too much VRAM to run, at least 32 gigabyte. Okay, let's click template and search for Queen image.
doing this one click and then select the model enable this four step flora disable these two nodes since we are not using image to image we're just using test to image so we need to use this empty latent and link it to here and then use the same prompt okay everything is done oh this one we need to set the cfg to one the fastest and the steps to four okay clear the models and then click run okay it took 63 seconds to generate this image and then let's take a look at the z image turbo click the models loaded and then click run okay you can see including the model loading time the speed is about 36 seconds much much faster than the twin image model faster and better but smaller and more accessible finally let me share some prompt tips for you to use this model i put it in this note you can take a check this is just a template you can change it to whatever you want for the uncensored content just change the prompt please use it properly you are totally responsible for everything you generate and that's all for today's video i hope you enjoy it if you think it's helpful please like share the video and subscribe for more thanks for watching See you.